What's up guys? How is everyone doing? My name is Anderson and welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't posted in a little bit, but that's all right. And today we're going to be uh, we're going to be reviewing what's in this box and you might be asking what's in this box. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? So in this box, we have the Easton skull cap. I took the sticker off already cuz I got a little bit impatient. So we have the Easton skull cap here and the big ticket item the Rawlings, oh, I gotta read this. I gotta read this. The Rawlings Ultra Lightweight Catcher's Mask. The tag number is LWMX2-B. So here it is for your catchers out there. I got both of them. Cause this is what I'm probably gonna be rocking from now on. Cause if you watch, if you actually watch my first video, which was what's in my baseball bag, you'll see that I rock a hockey style. So I'm probably gonna be wearing a two piece mask from now on. So, yeah, this is what I'm reviewing today, and let's get into it. So here's a close-up of both the items. Right here is the mask. It is pretty decent in size. This is the adult sizing. So if you're getting a different size, I'd recommend a little smaller, because I, for my hat size, I wear a 7 and 1 8. But this one fits me pretty good if you just adjust it. Here's a nice little close-up spin around. The strap, actually my favorite strap is the all-star strap. If you see those, if you look at those catcher's masks, it's like this circle, these three circles, but this will also work, just more simple. Yeah, here's the close-up of the mask. And now we have the helmet. I took out, there's normally gonna be a sticker. It's really easy to take off. You can put your own team logo. I just need to ask my coach for the logo first. So here's the East End. You can see the little engraving on the front, on the back and on the front. This isn't the thickest, it's a little bit um, it's a little bit more slim, but it gets the job done. Here we go. And monster view. So now we're gonna try both of these on. So obviously you're gonna put your skull cap on before your mask, and normally you put it backwards so the brim is out. Obviously if you're just whatever. Because also base coaches normally wear this, it's forward. But catchers, put it backwards. Put it backwards. Now we're gonna take the mask, adjust, obviously you're gonna adjust it to whatever size you need, but I already adjusted mine beforehand. I mean, I don't normally wear glasses either. So I know some, you can also buy like these sun visors that would go here and act, you know, well, it's a sun visor, it's in the name. Just gonna put this on, sure. Nice and fits right towards the back here. Just strapped on. Normal people will put like some pine tar or anything just right here, just to keep the mask from slipping. So that's what I'm gonna be doing after the review. So yeah, this is the mask. It's actually pretty lightweight, considerable. It's um, it's obviously lighter than the hockey style. It just, it's a little bit heavier in different spots, especially in the face. I'd say it's pretty heavy around the chin. So if you don't really like that, I wanna get this one. But this is pretty easy to move around, flip off. But I think if you were to, you know, block or like move around, I'd say I need to adjust a little bit more, but it wouldn't slip as much. I actually like this part. I, I wish it'd be a slightly longer, but that's okay. Cause a little bit more throat protection. I don't normally wear a throat guard, but if it's on here, then it'll do. But actually one thing, I know some umpires, they want you to have ear protection. So sometimes they won't let you use this. So I would get this at your own discretion. But yeah, so this is pretty easy to slip on and off. And if you're just walking the pitcher, you strap it behind let it hang off here or you can obviously hold it i mean it's lightweight it's not hard to hold but yeah this is it feels pretty safe because the way it is it's very thick these paddings i don't know if you can see this these paddings here are actually pretty thick around an inch or so inch and a half but yeah they're pretty thick and they offer pretty good protection when i feel this i can't really feel it but it's also, I'd like to say I actually like this more a little bit because it's a lot more breathable than if you have a hockey style, you have your whole head, your ears really covered, but this, it just feels more open, but we'll have to see after I use it in game. Hopefully, with a game day vlog coming soon, just editing that right now. So yeah, this is what I think about this mask. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Obviously, if you want to see more content like this, just let me know in the comments below. Just tell me what you want to see. Like, consider liking and subscribing. Obviously, I'm not going to make you do it. 
but you can go check out my other videos because this is a new channel i'm just trying to start something new uh hopefully i might be doing some game day vlogs once the season starts up again because obviously it's winter and not too much going on but yeah uh in my overall review uh, i would definitely recommend buying the rollings mask if you're on a little bit of a lower budget because i know the all-star they can go up to like a hundred something bucks just like 119 bucks just for the mask itself but i actually got this for a discount um, I think retail it goes 84 and uh, with the discount I got it for like 62 bucks so yeah I would definitely recommend this mask especially for the price but if you're really looking for like the best high quality I would go with all star but obviously that's what not what I'm using right now but there's obviously upgrades you can get like you can just put your team sticker whatever you need to put on your helmet and the sun visor here if you normally wear sunglasses while you catch which I don't know about that one, that's a little weird. But yeah, you can have your sun visor. So overall, I'd recommend this, especially if you're older. For the younger guys, I don't know if I could, because it's just obviously not as much protection, but if you're an experienced catcher and you do things like this, I would definitely recommend this mask. But that'll be it, so thank you guys.